All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the 2024 LFUCG CSA Farm Share Program Lunch and Learn. So I am your host, Faye Barron, here in Human Resources. Uh, the CSA program is administered here in HR by myself and our newest addition to the benefits team, Shannon Schultz. Uh, we are also joined today by our friends at the Organic Association of Kentucky uh, called Oak, and they are instrumental in providing both us and our partner farms the technical resources that we rely on so that we can have a successful CSA season year after year. So a big shout out to Katie and Brooke and Natalie and Dee. Uh, they're here. They're going to be working behind the scenes today with our chat moderation and our presentation recording. So just a little Zoom housekeeping. This will be a recorded presentation. It's going to be up on our YouTube site later today. Uh, participants uh, should remain muted during the presentation, and you can adjust the speaker view by going up to the view options at the top of your Zoom bar if you need to. Uh, if everyone would do me a favor and rename yourself with your first and your last name in the Zoom, that way we can get you entered for the CSA raffle that I'll talk about in just a second. I know that some of you are participating in groups, so uh, you'll have my contact information at the end of the presentation if you don't already have it, and you can just shoot me a list of the people that are in your group so that we can get that recorded. I don't want anyone to miss out on their opportunity for a share raffle this year. And then if you have any questions uh, during the presentation, just drop those in the chat box and we will get to them uh, as we can. So real quick, our agenda today, uh, we've had our, our welcome and our house court, uh, housekeeping, and I'm just gonna spend a few minutes going over the program and then our partner farms will have a few moments to talk about their farms, share their offerings, and then we'll finish up uh, with some dates to jot down for the program. So once again, by participating in our Lunch and Learn today, you'll be entered to receive a free CSA share with one of our partner farms. We have two of these to give away. They can be any size from any of our farms. And again, just make sure and click those three dots in your Zoom window and update your name to first and last name if you haven't already done so. I hear everything else today. And can we make sure that everybody is muted, please? Thank you. All right. So when I looked at the signups yesterday, it looked like around 33% of uh, today's participants have not participated in a CSA before. So welcome. We're glad that you're here and I am excited to tell you about our program today. LFUCG offers a $250 voucher to both full and part-time employees towards the purchase of a weekly farm share with any of our seven partner farms. This benefit can be claimed by completing a SurveyMonkey interest form, which we will go over in more detail in just a moment. So what exactly is a CSA? Uh, CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture. It is an opportunity to purchase a weekly subscription to local produce. So for our local growing season, for roughly 20 weeks between May and October, you will have a, a true farm to table experience with one of our partner farms. So why do we offer this wellness benefit? Well, the short answer is that it can have a powerful effect on the health and wellness of our employees. Not only does it promote healthy habits, it has the potential to improve the perceptual indicators of health. So cooking at home, uh, knowing what's going into your meal, maybe cooking a meal for friends and family, learning a new skill, uh, figuring out how to prepare kohlrabi, which I didn't know anything about until I participated with the CSA. Uh, these, those all aid in promoting an overall positive feeling and help you feel healthier and less sluggish throughout your day. So having access to these fresh foods, it, it also has a potential to improve biometric indicators like lowering systolic blood pressure and increasing, increasing uh, carotenoid levels. So that, that top number of your you know, 120 over 80 blood pressure, that's your systolic. And it's a key indicator as we age um, of, of, of our risks for coronary artery, coronary artery disease and congestive heart failure and renal disease. And those carotenoids are antioxidants found 
in things that come in abundance in these CSA shares. Those are gonna be found in your leafy greens, your broccoli, your bright orange and yellow peppers, sweet peppers, uh, sweet potatoes, carrots. So eating a diet rich in those foods can have an anti-inflammatory effect, lower your blood pressure and reduce the risk of serious disease. So aside from the uh, health and wellness potential, participating in the CSA program offers convenience. So our partner farms have pickup locations all over Lexington and the surrounding counties, and some even offer home delivery. But really most conveniently, if you work downtown, is delivered right downstairs in the lobby. You can pick that up on your way out the door every Thursday evening during the growing season. Uh, what I consider one of the biggest benefits is the opportunity to get to know your farmer. Our partner farmers are proud of what they do and they want you to know how your food is being grown and they are here in our community. Those dollars spent on your weekly share stay here in our community, which is very, very important. So most of our farms offer a variety of share sizes for purchase. So small shares are ideal for smaller households uh, or those who are just trying out the program, uh, regular shares work well for households that are a little larger or who do the majority of their cooking at home. And then we have some extra large share offerings uh, for those people who want to take uh, the opportunity to freeze and can uh, their items when they are at their peak freshness and uh, can enjoy them later on in the season when things are looking a little puny at the grocery store. So here uh, we have a, a, just a, a high level illustration of the full share costs versus the cost with the applied voucher. So you're gonna have access to all farm shares pricing and on our workplace wellness site um, after this presentation. And you'll also be given a link uh, to some other resources so that you can um, compare all of these uh, share, far, or, uh, share sizes and costs uh, at a glance, but the prices currently are, are trending pretty comparably to grocery store prices, but the uh, the quality and the convenience uh, really combine to make it a great value. Um, if you're getting a small share, um, you, you get a lot of vegetables and it's gonna be you know, 10, $20 a week, which we think is, is pretty fantastic. So uh, just to recap, we have 240 vouchers available on a first come, first serve basis. Uh, you're getting ready to meet our seven partner farms who offer a range of share sizing, pricing, and variety. Uh, many of our farms offer additional products such as meat, uh, eggs, pantry items, uh, even cut flowers. Uh, but it is important to note that uh, the LFUCG voucher, that $250 voucher, uh, is only applicable to the vegetable shares. So you are welcome to add any other products to your weekly share, but it will be at an additional cost and not covered by the voucher. Just keep that in mind. Uh, most of our farms offer customization, uh, allowing you to view what is being picked for your share in any given week. And uh, you have an opportunity to swap out uh, some items that you might not uh, want in your share, you might not be interested in. Um, most of our farms also allow you to pause your subscription so that if you are on vacation or otherwise unable to pick up your share, you can carry over that credit. And this is particularly important if you choose to have your share delivered to the government center, um, because if for some reason you can't make arrangements to have your share paused or picked up, we do partner with Glean Kentucky to pick up those leftover shares so that none of that food uh, goes to waste. Uh, we, we do make every, uh, every uh, possible um, accommodation to try to get you, get you that food uh, in the week that, that it comes, but if you're unable to pick it up, um, just know that it will not go to waste. So after this presentation, uh, many of you participated before you're uh, familiar with the email that's gonna go out from Susan Straub. Uh, it's an all email uh, staff with a link to our workplace wellness site. And there you'll find all the details for our partner farms. You can compare them, see what works best for your household. And Susan's email will also have a link to the SurveyMonkey application. You're gonna fill that out. I'm gonna get it. And then I'm gonna send you uh, your voucher code along with all of the signup instructions uh, for our, our partner farms. Um, each farm, website is a little bit different, but we've got a really comprehensive 
uh, notes to get you through that so that you can apply your voucher to your share. And then uh, you've got lots of options for paying off the balance uh, that the voucher does not cover. All right, so we've got some important program dates today being the big one, uh, where this is our go live date. All the vouchers are gonna be uh, sent out later this afternoon when people sign up. And then we're gonna keep that survey monkey open this year uh, through April 29th, um, as, as, and, unless we run out of them. It's April 29th or until we run out of vouchers. Um, April 30th is the last day that you can redeem that voucher with our partner farms. And then uh, if you do redeem that voucher, just know that in May, um, that's gonna be taxed on your pay stuff, that $250 is a taxable benefit. So uh, I am right at 15 minutes. And so that gives us time to get started uh, with our partner farms. This is the part that everybody's excited about. So our first partner farm this morning is going to be Lazy Eight. Thanks, Faye. Uh, thanks for everybody joining us this morning, uh, afternoon. Uh, my name is Bryce Ballman. I'm from Lazy Eight Stock Farm, which is in Madison County, uh, just outside Berea. Um, I farm here with my family and a bunch of other great folks. Um, this is our 13th year of offering CSA, so we're really excited to get the season going. Uh, we, we offer lots of deliveries in Lexington. We do come to the government center. That's a great place, convenient place to pick up your share, but we also have lots of other locations in Lexington, some evening pickups, and we kind of hit all the major thoroughfares coming out of town. Um, so that's important to find a good, convenient location. Um, we offer a 21 week season. Uh, we start in early May and continue until the end of September for our main season. Uh, we start the season off early. We've got greenhouses. So we really try to uh, put a big effort into having a big diversity of crops early in the season. Um, you know, we usually start harvesting tomatoes in early June, uh, cucumbers in late May. We kick off with strawberries. Um, asparagus and a whole variety of greens. So we offer a big diversity of produce and our shares are customizable, meaning that you can um, pick and choose the items that you really enjoy. And it also gives you the option to try some new stuff. I, I saw one comment about kohlrabi. Everybody's surprised when they try kohlrabi for the first time and how delicious it is. So it's a, it's a good way to kind of broaden your diet. Um, you can also add extras to your share each week. If you need canning tomatoes, you can purchase those to be included with your delivery. Um, and we offer a flower share. So it's, a, it's another uh, great way to um, get some really nice uh, things to look at in your share as well as eat. Um, I think a couple things, you know, we really want to have you out to the farm. Uh, we offer a lot of um, events, uh, you pick, Strawberries in the spring is always a big hit, so long as the frost holds off long enough and we get a good strawberry crop. Um, we're also going to have a broom corn harvest. We've got a local broom maker in town that's offering a broom corn uh, broom making class, so you can come out and, and uh, enjoy the farm, see what's going on out here, and we love to connect in those ways. And I think one tip uh, that you know is important for all first-time and long-time CSA members is to pay attention to your pickup site. You know, our lives are busy. We understand that our lives are busy also. And making sure that you have a really good convenient pickup site, no matter who, which farm you go with, make sure that it's something that you can make part of your uh, weekly routine to get your share and enjoy your vegetables. And we wish everyone success. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Next up, we have Hickory Grove Farm. Hello, everyone. Um, thanks, Faye, and to uh, Oak for putting this um, on today. Um, my name is Ryan. I'm from Hickory Grove Farm. We have a little bit different CSA than a, your traditional one that you can expect to have a different experience. Um, we do ours as a membership um, buyers club CSA. 
So we have our initial membership at the beginning of the year, and then you're just charged as you pick up your shares weekly. Um, kind of the way you make out your share is through a market style CSA. So each week you'll get several units um, that week to spend at our markets. Um, this does limit us to where we are at the Saturday and Sunday Lexington Farmers Market sites. Um, so we don't offer midweek or that Thursday week pickup, but you are able to come and completely customize your box. Um, we chose to kind of do the market CSA this year as a buyer's club to make it easier on all involved. Um, number one, um, if you miss a week, you're not charged for that week. So there's not that um, life happens and you don't have that drive to go there. Then also with the uh, market style, um, you just show up and shop versus trying to remember to uh, put in your order or how you want to customize it. Along with our vegetable CSA, we also do offer a monthly meat subscription CSA. Now, as they said earlier, that does not, the voucher does not go towards that. But if you decide to add that on, um, you get a, a variety of meats once a month um, at the pickup site. Um, there's also an egg option uh, where you can get a weekly egg on um, all of your uh, orders as well. Um, the options we offer are small, um, regular, and large. Uh, small being um, kind of for that one or two people new member, um, regular for a normal family, and then robust for the, you know, the healthy eater of vegetables. The pictures up there kind of give you an example of what units are. Um, so you can kind of expect that to be kind of what you are shopping during that week. But um, excited about starting our season off and um, hopefully uh, we'll have several um, city employees join our CSA this year. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, I think uh, I haven't looked at the chat questions, but I'm pretty sure that everybody's going to want to know if we can meet that piglet. <laughs> All right, next up, we've got Elmwood Stock Farm. Hello, Mac and Ann. Mac, you're on mute. Yeah, but I, I was doing so good. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Um, this is our 21st year of CSA. Um, my wife, Ann, and her brother, John, grew up here, went off to college, studied abroad, um, came back home and said, Dad, we want to farm with you. So through diversification into all the different vegetables, uh, we do very little wholesale anymore. It's all devoted to the farmer's market and the CSA. We like that connection with our customers. Some have been with us for this will be their 21st year um, as a CSA shareholders. Uh, we generally run mid-May to uh, sometime in early October. We let Mother Nature tell us when the season is right to begin. So you have a nice mix of vegetables available. The shares are fully customizable. We offer a farmer's choice so that if you can't log in or you're traveling or whatever and you can't log in, you'll get a nice mix of vegetables each week. But you can log in, um, see which vegetables you like more. I encourage you to experiment with some you're not very familiar with. Or if you're only familiar with uh, store-bought spinach, for example, it doesn't look very good to me but the quality of these fresh local organic greens is just out of this world. So be sure and experiment a little bit with that. Uh, we also have eggs uh, until they sell out. They'll usually sell out first uh, as add-ons, but then we do beef and chicken, uh, pork, lamb, and turkeys in the fall. Uh, and a flower share, actually. Uh, Jessica's done a great job putting a flower program together for us. We do deliver there to LFUCG central office there, but uh, you'll see there's lots of other uh, Lexington locations. Pick the day of the week, the time of the day, et cetera, that works for you, uh, and we will be there. If you add on the meats or extra vegetables, it'll be put right there with your share in a bag with your name on it, uh, usually in alphabetical order by first name, and uh, so you can find it um, easily. Uh, we offer monthly farm tours. 
So we hope you'll see one of those that works for you. Some are on Saturday, some are on Sunday. Um, but get you out here to the farm and explain how organic works and why we do what we do. So if you have any questions, just contact the farm and uh, someone will be glad to answer your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, next up we have Sustainable Harvest. Hey, thanks, Bay, and uh, thanks to the Oaks folks for the Oak folks for uh, putting on this event. Uh, my name is Jeff Fox. Uh, I'm uh, actually speaking on behalf of Ford Waterstrat, uh, who is the owner and uh, head farmer at Sustainable Harvest Farm. Uh, Ford is sorry you could not join the event today. His uh, wife Amanda uh, actually have a, had to have a little medical procedure uh, done today, so Ford is uh, is where he needs to be. But it's truly my pleasure to talk a little bit about Sustainable Harvest Farm. I've worked with Ford really from a sales and marketing perspective for the last five or six years. If you're not aware, Sustainable Harvest Farm is located down in uh, London, Kentucky. So it's about 75 miles uh, south of Lexington. You know, having known Ford for, for that time, for 10 years plus, I guess, have known him, uh, Ford has just a tremendous passion uh, for farming. Uh, I would say he also has a tremendous passion for uh, helping folks um, uh, eat and cook healthier uh, and providing you know, certified organic produce to, uh, to enable that. I think with being a father of uh, three boys, he also has a passion for uh, helping kids start eating healthier at earlier ages. And it's it's actually been shaped what he puts in his uh, CSA uh, uh, offering uh, each week. We're trying to include more snackable type of vegetables, again, encouraging uh, kids to start eating healthier early. So. Uh, so Ford's uh, season is uh, CSA season does run typically 22 weeks. Uh, he starts uh, mid-May um, and it runs through mid-October. If you would ask Ford again, um, he, he would tell you when the strawberries ripe uh, are ripe, uh, then, then that's when the season begins. So as you can see, uh, he does have uh, three uh, share size offerings, uh, small. And actually, if you go online to order, you'll see it as um, uh, you'll see it as a regular share as well as an extra large. Uh, but as Faye alluded to, small, kind of typically a good size for one to two people, uh, regular size, you know, three or four folks. And if you're big veggie fans or have a big family of five or more, he'd recommend going with the extra large size. Um, you can get your shares in both a bag or a reusable recyclable box. And so as the season progresses uh, and the weight of some of the produce, you get into some of the cantaloupes, watermelons, um, squash, et cetera, heavier, maybe it's a little bit easier to uh, to uh, carry your share around. So there is a small dollar fifty up charge if you do choose the the route to go with a with a box. You know, some of the things that come with the membership, um, it is a fully customizable share. So if you're like me and maybe beets aren't your thing, uh, you have the opportunity to swap out beets uh, with other seasonal produce that uh, he has available at that time. So again, fully customizable share. Um, and another thing that I think uh, we work really hard is, and that's really to provide resources to help you prepare, store, and cook uh, your CSA produce. So uh, we uh, work with a food blogger local here, uh, and she provides recipes that we share in our monthly newsletter. Uh, we provide links over the course of the season to various other places you can go for, for recipes. Uh, there's a neat uh, tips and tricks ebook that's available on his site, which again helps you kind of have a successful farm share season, as well as some other information storage and, and uh, prep guides that are available as well on the site underneath the resources tab. So the final kind of uh, thing you get as well, a benefit of, the, of his program, it's it's 100% satisfaction guarantee. So uh, Ford is a super genuine guy and, and very sincere as the day is long. And so he wants to make sure that his customers are, are, are satisfied and they're happy. So if there is an issue, uh, he'll do everything he can to, to make it right. Thinking in terms of pickup locations, uh, he does deliver to the government center. And then uh, also we've looked at other ways to make sure we have good coverage around Lexington. So if you're on the east side, um, Grassroots Pharmacy over in the Hamburg area, if you're on the south side, like I am here in Lexington, uh, Whole Foods, great option uh, for a little bit more of a, a tastier treat opportunity to pick up your share. Uh, donut days off of Southland is a good option. Uh, as well as a lot of different neighborhoods uh, throughout Lexington. Um, highly encourage you to go to his site. Uh, 
to go and check out all the locations to find one that's just most convenient and easy for you. He does offer a home delivery option as well uh, for a, a small upcharge. So in closing, uh, I think we were all asked to provide a tip. And so my tip isn't Ford's tip, uh, it's it's Jeff's tip, but, and that's really um, uh, make meal time family time. Um, when preparing, from preparing to sharing, you know, it's quality time that you can spend with your loved ones. So take advantage of that. So thank you for your time. Thanks for your interest. Again, on behalf of Ford and Sustainable Harvest Farm, uh, we really appreciate the opportunity to talk a little bit about it. Well, thank you so much, Jeff. All right, next up we have Homegrown Direct. Hi guys, I'm Megan Sharp. I'm with Homegrown Direct. We are based out of Georgetown, Kentucky, so in Scott County. Um, this is our fourth year doing a CSA share. So typically we were more wholesale. Um, and with the onset of COVID, we decided to start a CSA and it's been a really great addition to our farm. So when you're talking about shares from homegrown, we've got a peck size, we've got a half bushel and a bushel size. But something that's a little different um, that we offer are different payment methods. So not everyone is able to pay for the full season up front. So we do offer three different payment options. So you can do a weekly payment, you can do a monthly payment, or you can do the full season as well. Um, we do offer quite a few pickup locations. Most of those are in Scott County. We will be at the LFUCG Government Center on Thursday afternoons. We have a Hamburg pickup at the theater there on Saturdays. Um, we do have a pickup at Desserts by Rebecca, but we also offer free home delivery with 10 or more subscribers. So if your neighborhood is not on a list that I'll be posting later this week, then you can rally your neighbors, share on your HOA pages, um, reach out to your kids' ball teams or anybody else that you're really affiliated with inside your neighborhood. Reach out to them, let them know about Homegrown. And once we get 10 people signed up, then you guys will be in automatic delivery for Saturdays. So you're not going to have to worry about coming to pick up your box. This is something that we want to continue to offer to our subscribers and keep it free. Um, so as long as we can get enough people, make it worth the drive, we're going to get it there for you. Um, something else that's a little special is you guys get to cook along with me all week. So I also get a couple shares I bring home. We're going to go through some of those uh, vegetable items that you're not particularly familiar with, some of the things that you're not going to see at the grocery store. So you guys will cook side by side with me. I try to prepare it a couple different ways. Um, do a lot of kid friendly. So you're going to see a lot of our kiddos um, on my social media posts. Do you want to let you guys know that we're doing a farm introduction? So um, planning on that tonight, that's going to give you a little bit more detail into what our season looks like, what our shares look like, um, and how that flow kind of goes. Um, again, if we need to change it up when the season starts, we're okay. We're pretty, pretty flexible with that but we are very active on our social media with posts on what's going on with the farm. So you guys are always up to date with the new and the best of the best. Um, I share a lot of pictures. I post some videos. So if you guys have any questions, um, I would definitely encourage you all to join tonight. Um, we will be doing a meet your farmer live on our social media page, and we can't wait to have you this season. Thank you, Megan. I want to check that out. All right. So now we have uh, Bree with Rootbound. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Uh, my name is Bree Pearsall, and I farm at Rootbound Farm in Crestwood, Kentucky. And we are very um, excited to be back at LFUCG participating in the program this year. Um, we were part of the LFUCG voucher program for the first four years, I believe, of the program, and then um, didn't participate for the last two years. And so we're just happy to be back and to see a lot of familiar faces. Um, this is our ninth year of community-supported agriculture, and um, we have pickups in the Lexington area, Frankfurt area, Louisville, and Oldham County. Um, our season is a pretty long season. Uh, we offer CSA from May through December, but folks don't have to join us for the full um, May through the December CSA. We've tried to um, 
add payment plans that allow you to choose uh, much shorter periods of time to dip your toes and to try out CSA. Um, like all of the um, partner farms in the LFUCG program though, there is a 20 week um, commitment for the LFUCG voucher. Um, we do have three different share sizes, small, medium, and large, and all of our shares are customizable every week. Um, we make the customization feature really easy. So uh, you'll get an online um, account when you sign up for the CSA and every week on a, on a schedule, you'll have a few days ahead of your pickup to log in and see the full offerings of what we have available on the farm and to make any changes to your box that you want to make. And we really try to, you know, just give you as much choice as possible. There's there's pretty um, few limitations on how you use the customization feature across the different um, produce that is in your share size. Um, we also make it easy to add on things on a weekly basis. So that could be extra veggies if you're planning for a crowd or a special event, you can um, add on items on a weekly basis. And we also um, allow you to add on eggs or our pasture raised organic meats as well on a weekly basis. Uh, we do offer egg shares and um, lamb shares, but you can also order those items a la carte every week. Um, the eggs and lamb that we offer in our CSA are also raised on our farm. Um, they're pasture raised and certified organic and all the items in our share do come from our farm. Um, we also think that getting out to the farm is a really important benefit of being a CSA member. We always prioritize um, our CSA members to um, come out to the farm. And we, ha we host a few big events each year to help you do that. We um, have larger events in the spring, the summer, and the fall, and then um, smaller ones throughout the year as well. So um, our Lexington pickups are listed there. I'm really excited to be back at the Government Center. It's a really vibrant, fun place to pick up a CSA share. Uh, but we do also have the other Lexington pickups. And we make it easy to pause your share, uh, take a vacation, or to change your pickup even temporarily. So if you're not working one week or you're going to be off-site doing something, you could temporarily pick up at another location and um, that's just a change you can make in your member account pretty easily as well. So um, we love CSA. I think it's a really wonderful way to um, put some put some values into um, where where we're getting our food. I love to support uh, local farms with my food for purchases. I think it's a really rewarding and enriching way to eat. So um, my tip, I think, is just to schedule time for yourself to cook. I think that looks really different for everybody. We have some members that love to meal plan and really um, dig in hard on a Sunday afternoon and prep for many days. And then other folks are just carving out um, a certain amount of time each day. So whatever that looks like for you, try different things. But my tip is just to find some some joyful time in your schedule to, to cook. Um, I will drop my contact in the chat and look forward to hearing from you. Oh, thank you, Bree. We are happy to have you all back. I've, I've heard a lot of a lot of excitement about uh, seeing your produce back down in the lobby. So next up, we have uh, High Five Farm, Chelsea with High Five. Hi everybody, um, my name is Chelsea, she, her, and my farm is High Five Farm. My husband and I, Alex Rickman, we grow um, vegetables and herbs on two leased acres in Woodford County, which is just outside of Lexington. Um, we grow lots of delicious vegetables um, all year round, but our CSA is focused on spring and early summer and then fall crops. So you're gonna see a lot of Carrots, beets, turnips, lots of lettuces, alliums, and then um, cucumbers, tomatoes, et cetera, in our CSA. Um, we really listen to our CSA feedback. So we've you know thoughtfully curated each week's share to be a diverse um, 
like group of vegetables that we hope that you will enjoy and you'll always see something new in each year but it is a farmer's choice csa bag um we have a 20 week season but it is split into two parts so you'll have a quite long summer break so part one is early may to early july and then we'll have a couple month maybe it's about two months summer break and then we start back up again mid-september to late november so it's still 20 weeks total but you'll have a longer summer break um we have about i would say about six to eight items will be in your share bag each week um the photos on the slide are pretty good examples of what you can expect um at different times those both look like uh early summer shares to me um some of our perks being an hour csa specifically um include a 25 percent discount that is um applicable to all the farmer's market stands that we're at for the year 2024. So um, you can enjoy that. And that's also applies to anybody who eats your CSA gets that discount. So anyone in your family and anyone who picks it up can use that discount at our stand. Um, we also have a cookbook for our new members. So this is a cookbook that was created by a really close family friend and he handmade well, I guess he wrote all these recipes and will our CSA members get this cookbook. Um, and it also has a lot of really pretty artwork in it um, that was also made by that same family friend. So new members get this guide and it really does help you with any new um, items that you might not be familiar with. Um, so look forward to that. And also by joining our CSA, you are participating in a sliding scale payment system. We use this system so that our shares can be available to a wider range of people with varying income. So what you'll do is assess your own income and your own assets and privileges, and then choose the payment that is most appropriate for your family. All share sizes are the same. Um, in terms of how many items you'll get, but you get to determine what price is most appropriate for your family. Um, so that's a cool thing. And our pickups are Sundays at the Lexington Farmers Market on the Southland Drive location, or Saturday at the Franklin County Farmers Market um, in the mornings. Let's see, and I guess, I think my favorite tip is learn how to use your cooking tools uh get a sharpening get a knife sharpener and like watch a bunch of youtube videos on how to sharpen your knives and how to chop things right i would invest in a good cooking board you can find them or a, cook, a cutting board you can get them at the thrift store um but making a couple investments in your kitchen equipment will really help you succeed thanks <laughs> Thank you, Chelsea. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you brought up uh, some cooking demos because I'm going to launch a poll here. Uh, let's see. Yes. Can everybody see that poll? All right, overwhelmingly, yes. So we can accommodate that. And Oops. all right, I'm having some technical difficulties here. All right. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our partner farms for all of your uh, wonderful presentations and information about your farms. Uh, we're going to get into just a, 
a few uh, resources and reminders uh, for our program here. So the important days to remember today, obviously, the vouchers go live. Uh, you're going to get an email about that Survey Monkey application, and that's going to be your access to the voucher to uh, buy these these incredible shares. Uh, February 29th uh, is the actually that is not true. That is April. Uh, we have extended that. Sorry about that. Oops. April 29th will be your last day to uh, fill out a SurveyMonkey claim voucher. Uh, and then April 30th will be your last day to redeem that. And again, uh, on May, those uh, taxable uh, contributions, that $250 will show up on your pay stub. Just be on the lookout for that. So the information that is uh, gonna go out from Susan Straub will include a link to our workplace wellness site. Uh, that's where you're going you're gonna to find all of the nitty gritty information about our farms. You can look at the, there's a farm matrix. So you can uh, evaluate everything side by side and then links to everybody's um, individual website, each farm's website so that you can uh, take a really, really good look around uh, and see what is going on at each farm and see uh, which one of those options is going to work best for your household. So uh, once again, uh, CSA program is here in Human Resources. You can contact me or Shannon with your questions about the CSA program. Uh, your vouchers will be coming from my email address once those uh, SurveyMonkey applications have been uh, submitted. So that is the end of our presentation. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to our friends at Oak to uh, see what kind of questions we've had pop up in the chat. Hi, the piglet. I know everybody wants to meet the piglet. I'm dying to meet the piglet. <laughs> we've had a few questions in the chat. Um, thank you to our farmers for chiming in with some answers, but we'll address them here since they might apply to more people. Um, question number one is, let's see, for Faye. Um, can two employees who receive a voucher use it on one farm share? No, it is one voucher per purchase. However, uh, we have had lots of uh, employees share their shares. Uh, you can only apply one voucher amount to that share, but uh, people you know, either split the share every week or do one week on, one week off. Um, it, it works out a lot really well for people who, you know, may not eat a whole lot of vegetables or only uh, interested in, you know, a very, very limited, you know, a, a amount of produce um, or, or just trying it out for the first time. It's a great, great way to, to get interested in it. Um, our next question is, will this slideshow um, and presentation be available after the meeting? Yes, it will. Uh, that last uh, link, the, the workplace wellness, it's going to have a link to this presentation and all the farm resources. Um, and we've talked about a lot of our farms that offer things other than produce that you can add on to your share, like meat or flowers or eggs. Um, we had a question in the chat, which is, do any of the farms have recommendations or options about getting local grains or dairy? Um, I, I'm not sure if maybe a farmer could speak to this a little. I highly recommend Weisenberger Mill. Um, so you're not just going to get grains, grits, flour there. You can also get muffin mix, pizza mix. Um, they do a lot of a lot of little packages. Um, so it's it's not bulk either. So you guys can get a lot of individual things from them. And they're a great, wonderful local family. Awesome. Another place, oh, 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 go ahead, Chelsea. I was just going to say another place to also check out for all sorts of Kentucky grown products is Locals Food Hub, which is a relatively new store in Frankfurt that is essentially like 100% Kentucky grown grocery store and then pizza as well. So they have got cheese, they've got milk. It's also a great place to check out. And Elmwood has cornmeal. Elmwood also has great honey. I know that wasn't in the question, but I feel like it deserves a shout out. <laughs> Thanks. Does anybody else have any questions? That's all that were from the chat. 
Yeah, I might pick on the farmers too. So encourage uh, attendees to come off mute. But um, if any of the other farmers that didn't get a chance to share a CSA tip want to share a CSA tip, I feel like this could be a great time just because I always get like so inspired by these. <laughs> so if anyone has another tip they want to share or a question, please feel free to come off mute. I, I would encourage everybody to be adventurous. Um, so maybe there are vegetables that you've never heard of. You don't know what they look like. You have no idea how to cook them. That's why we're here. Um, so you've got your own personal farmer throughout the entire season. We can let you know what works, what doesn't work, storage tips, um, cleaning tips, prep tips, all of the things. Like you, you've got a wealth of knowledge at your hand. So I definitely encourage you guys to take advantage of that throughout the season and be adventurous. Your kids are going to love it. Um, let them get in the kitchen, let them see the weird things that they don't see at the grocery store and get hands on. Um, I really feel that's my favorite part about the CSA season um, are when people share these stories or recipes or tips or things their kids did. Um, I think that that that's really good. So don't, don't say no immediately. Yes. Get excited for kohlrabi. Don't say no immediately, guys. At least try it out once. Do a taste test. It's delicious. I can vouch for kohlrabi. <laughs> and I'll just echo Megan quickly in terms of trying vegetables in different ways, because there's a lot of vegetables I thought I didn't like, and then I tried a different recipe or a different, like, you know, cooked it roasted it, kept it raw or something like that and really liked it. So I feel like it's definitely fun and part of being in a CSA is being able to be a little bit more adventurous. Um, that's a great question, Sarah. So Sarah asked if, if there is a list of what all is grown on each farm. Um, and I would say most of the farms do provide that on their website. So, and if you don't see it, um, if there's a farm that you're curious about, I would encourage you, if you can't find it, just to email them directly. Um, if you have a specific question about a crop, but to, if any of the other, if the farms want to speak to that. Uh, we do have a list on the website. Um, the seasonality is, uh, um, where we're doing season extension with various frost blankets and high tunnels and whatnot. We're trying to extend seasons both early and late or sometimes midsummer. Uh, we've started with a, an irrigation system so that we can offer uh, some of the tender leafy lettuces that don't normally like hot weather. We're doing a better job of growing them through the full season because you need to eat your greens all year. And maybe Mac, I can pick on you for a second, just to give folks an idea of like how many crops on average CSA farmers grow throughout the season. Just, you know, the nature of, if you can speak to somewhat and like more broadly, maybe. Yeah, so if you count tomatoes as one or lettuce as one, and we have, you know, dozens of varieties of tomatoes, but if you count tomatoes as one, I think you're still going to see 30 plus crops, you know, available through the season, maybe 40 something. I've never even thought to count them. Um, but between the season extensions that I talked about, the unique varieties that we can grow that you can't uh, grow at, that you don't see at the grocery store because the local farms can handle it and get it to you. For example, when we get the pick list off of our customizable uh, software program, the crop is still growing in the field, so it gets picked to order. We don't go pick it until you collectively tell us what, what you want. Um, so it's that fresh and um, gets washed and prepped and cooled and bagged into you the next day. So um, it's just it's the varieties that we can grow are, are superior to anything you can get in a big box store uh, and the freshness that goes with it. Yeah, I definitely want to piggyback off of that because like Katie was saying as well, you know, I I didn't know that I liked this vegetable. And even, you know, if you, you know, you, you don't like a vegetable, you've probably never tasted it that fresh out of the ground. And it, it's going to blow your mind in, in most cases. And that freshness, you know, for the frugal folks out there, that freshness really does give you more calories per dollar because it's going to last in your fridge for way longer than anything that you would get at the grocery. Who knows how long it's been on those shelves.
Yeah, Chelsea, could you talk a little bit about making use of some of the greens that come on vegetables people might see in their CSA? You're getting, you know, things you might not be used to having greens attached to if you buy it in the store. Yeah, well, first of all, you'll notice the greens on a farm fresh uh, product because they're going to look beautiful and they're going to look fresh. Um, so beet greens, you can use them just like Swiss chard. You can uh, chop them up and put them in a frittata or a quiche. Or I've heard a lot of folks doing carrot top pesto, uh, mixing that with uh, basil and other things that you make pesto with. Um, there's a lot of creative ways to use those items that are often chopped and put in the compost bin. Um, and I, you really will just notice them because they look so good and you'll want to eat them. And maybe Chelsea, I'll pick on you one more time and say, what should people do when they get a root vegetable to store it properly? What you can do is chop off the tops um, and then you have two foods. So if you get beet greens with the greens on them, chop off the tops, leave like about like, I don't know, half an inch on there, put that in a separate bag um, in your crisper drawer, wash the greens, dry them, and then put that in its own bag. Then you've got two items for the price of one. I mean, it really does not get better than that. Well, yeah, Faith, can we kick it back to you? Maybe you could recap, let people know um, how, when will you announce the raffle winners? I'm sure people are excited about that. Yeah, I'm going to give everybody an opportunity to get me their group names because I don't want to leave anybody out. Um, but uh, we will have that uh, later this afternoon. Uh, we're going to send out the, uh, well, well, we'll send out the raffle winners before we send out the voucher mm -hmm. uh, application so that you don't, uh, you know, the winners don't, uh, you know, feel like they have to claim a voucher. We can just leave that, leave that open for somebody else. Just a reminder to everybody to make sure that your Zoom name is your full name. Um, that's what Faye is going to be using to enter you in the raffle. And we want to make sure we can contact you if you've won, um, if you've joined by phone um, and you're unable to do so, maybe you could email Faye that you have been in, in the call. So she makes sure to enter your name in the raffle. Yes. All right, any more tips and tricks from our farmers and our friends at Oak? All right, well, I'm gonna- be, be creative, uh, try new foods. In the original days of CSA, there, we didn't have this customizable software and we were just deliver a bag of whatever we picked that week and tell you to go home and be happy with it. So one good thing about that, the old system was you were sort of forced to try new items that you wouldn't normally order because uh, you weren't familiar with them. So uh, Look at them, be creative, feel just because you're, you, so you have so many dollars and you're invested at $20 a week or $30 a week. Most all the farms you can spend extra, just re-up your account if you're eating more than you thought and just have fun with it. Okay, everyone. Well, thank you so, so much for uh, joining us today. Our farmers, our friends at Oak, all of our LFUCG employees. Thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to hearing from everyone to secure their vouchers and run out there and purchase their CSA shares. You all have a great day. Hi, everybody. Thank you.